What's up, my wonderful sports to the bone family? What's up? What's up? A blessed day to you, all my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. All right, my peeps. So, we have a couple of things to share with you guys in this one. We see where uh, Akil Hussein and Andre Russell they did extremely well in their game yesterday in the Big Bash League. See, both men are uh, making some runs. <laughs> Top blog at top YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell Hussein also taking some wickets as you can see on the screen there Hussein doing his thing uh, so we're gonna uh, do a quick recap of how they performed plus we're gonna share some information as it relates to the West Indies versus Zimbabwe tour the dates have been um, announced and the time that the games will be sta will be starting you know I think a couple of days ago I told you guys about the 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 game as it relates to the um the amount of games that will be played and all of that but no we're going to look at the dates and the actual time or times that the games will start so just make sure you watch the video until the end so you can hear everything that i have to give and if you have not yet subscribed please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel all right, my peeps, so we're going to kick things off with a little bit of Big Bash um, news. As I said, Andre Russell and Akil Hussein, they did extremely well yesterday as they both um, proved to be important as their team, you know, was able to get some runs on the board and some wickets. Andre Russell, as a matter of fact, scored 57 of uh, 42 deliveries. Yes, my peeps, Russell had 57 of 42 deliveries and you know he had a couple of sixes in the in the mix there i think he had something like six sixes there he had six sixes and two fours as he piled on 57 of 42 deliveries akilu saying he had 30 from 19 30 from 19 with two fours and two sixes to his name now as it relates to the bowling akilu saying he also did well for his team picking up a couple of wickets you know um it's good to see these guys these guys doing their thing you know as much as how you know um some of some of these guys don't really do it for west indies anyway uh hussein he bowled uh four overs picked up three wickets for 26 runs so four overs three wickets for 26 runs not bad at all andre russell he bowled two overs and only picked up uh well he didn't pick up any wickets but he gave away 16 runs so not a bad outing for andre russell not a bad outing for akil hussein as they led their team to victory that is um that is how, how it went my viewers and subscribers you know um shout out to akil hussein and andre russell for going out there and getting the job done no we know russell is a seasoned campaigner when it comes on to t20 cricket and you know he's well regarded all over the world akil hussein he's now working himself up the ladder trying to get amongst the big hitters you understand the big hitters of the ipl his name is actually in the draft you know the ipl draft is going to be i think maybe tomorrow if i'm not mistaken so we you know we, we're definitely going to keep an eye on things to see if someone will pick up Akil Hussein. So, you know, I um, just wanted to give you guys some information where that is concerned. All right, so quickly moving on now, my peeps. West Indies, they yesterday, you know, CWI named an interim coach in Andre Coley. And we see the Zimbabwe board um, also confirming the schedule. On Wednesday, they confirmed the schedule which would be yesterday, you know, um, letting us know when the games will be played and um, where the games will be played and all of that. So, you know, on Wednesday, as I said, they confirm saying that they are slated to host uh, the, the two test matches, uh, you know, so the first one will run from the 4th to the 8th of February. So make sure you mark these dates down on your calendar from the 4th to the 8th of February. The first test match will run and the second test match will run from the 12th to the 16th you understand from the 12th to the 16th um the, it will run so uh we were getting conflicting information coming um conflicting information that game that 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 they were going to run in january 
we heard um in february you understand we heard all sort of things so you know um they say ahead of the two test match though they will have a four-day warm-up match against a local side which will go from uh the 28th to the 31 of january so i guess that is what we were um hearing when they were talking about january so the first test match will go from the 4th to the 8th of february the second one will go from the 12th to the 16th and then the warm-up game that will run from the 28th of january to the 31 of january and um based on what we are seeing here they say all matches will start at 10 a.m local time which is round about 4 a.m eastern caribbean time which would make it 3 a.m jamaica time so it's going to be interesting to see how the west indies go up um, do against zimbabwe now jimmy adams the director of west indies cricket had this to see and i quote the tour uh, to Zimbabwe to Zimbabwe early in 2023 will be an important part of our 2023 test program, which also includes series against South Africa and India. He went on to say, having produced some good results early in 2022, the team will be eager to begin the year with a strong performance with strong performances against zimbabwe now just to give you some information zimbabwe's last test match was actually way back in july 2021 against bangladesh and um they are definitely looking forward to doing um their thing you know the director of cricket is hamilton mas uh, masakazda this is you know you guys probably remember him from his playing days and you know they they, they are well eager this is what he had to say and i quote we are pleased to confirm uh the west indies will be visiting us for two test matches and will be and um we will be looking to play on you know those games and uh get things going he also say that uh, although it's been a while since we last played test cricket our boys will be hungry and ready for some red ball action and i believe an exciting series against one of the game's top sides is on the cards so yes my peeps man is saying that um west indies you know top side we we are regularly ranked well we are ranked in the inside the top 10 where test cricket is concerned so i guess that's why he's saying all of that so just to quickly remind you my peeps the warm-up game will run from the 28th to the 31 of january it's a four-day warm-up match and uh the first test match will go from the 4th to the 8th of february you understand the 4th to the 8th of february they will have that first test match there and um that will take place at uh the queen's par uh queen sports club based on what they are saying and then from the 12th to the 16th of february the second test match will go ahead at the same location the queen sports club so you know just make sure that you mark these dates down on your calendars so you can um you know uh make sure that when it is time you are there to support the guys whether it is on social media or whatever if you are going to go live you can you can you can you can do that so yeah that is it my peeps just wanted to share all of that with you guys sports to the bone keeping it informed big up on yourself my peeps